how it's loaded. Big old tubes get stuck in the back and the tower it's like a tornado inside there and it just works up air pressure and blows that sawdust in. I don't think it's blowing right now. They're, they just got back from lunch. So I'm dumping my sawdust load. You see it's at three cylinders. I put it up to three cylinders for about 10 minutes. Otherwise the door gets caught up in the sawdust. And then uh, I raise it all the way up. That lift is pretty strong because that trailer in the sawdust is about 67,000 pounds. It's about 85,000 pounds with the truck on the scale. And they're going to turn that into particle board. Provide them a sample so they know how moist the sawdust is. You can see I'm all done dumping. And the big hopper full back there. If I didn't wait that 10 minutes, see how piled up it is? My door would get caught up in that. So gotta wait a while for it to travel out of the hopper. And back to the yard I go. And the verdict is I dumped. 51,920 pounds worth of sawdust and wood shavings. All of the extra pieces of wood and broken wood we toss in a conveyor belt and it goes to the shredder and blown into the back of the trailer. Well, in case you're curious, this is the back of the trailer here. This is the door release bar so it doesn't come undone accidentally while driving. You can see it turns this bar right here. There's these latches at the door that holds it closed. So when those, when you open it up, those swing down. And this door swings outwards. There's the hinges up at the top, so when the trailer rises up, the door opens and the sawdust comes up. You can see the shoots up, shoot doors up there. That's where the sawdust goes shooting in loads the trailer up it's high powered and it sprays in right now I'm gonna go set this in the dock over there to be reloaded <laughs> 